Hey friends, this is Sergio Benavides, your criminal and immigration attorney. I'm doing this video today to talk about President Biden's new immigration program that was just announced yesterday, June 18th. Um, it's an exciting program. Uh, they've called it Parole in Place. It'll be uh, something that's available for people who don't have uh, immigration status in the United States, but, uh, for example, the person is married to a U.S. citizen. So we don't have all of the details yet. They haven't been published. They haven't been provided. But I wanted to give you some basics of what to expect. First of all, um, as of June 17, 2024, if you want to apply for this new program, you have to have already been in the United States for 10 years. Uh, and you have to have proof of that. So that's one of the qualifications. And as of June 17, 2024, you have to already be married to a U.S. citizen. Third, you can't have what they call disqualifying crimes in order to be eligible. So as of right now, we don't know what the fees are. We don't have the forms. We don't have the specific requirements. We just have these basics. So, uh, for example, uh, let's look at what you can do now before you start applying for parole in place. Well, one of the things you could be doing right now is you can be collecting your proof that you've been present in the United States for the last 10 years. Well, what kind of proof can I give you? Well, let me tell you. You can provide proof of tax returns, pay stubs. Well, I have been paying taxes. I've been getting paid cash. Oh, well, uh, you can start paying taxes now. Um, matter of fact, you can go see your tax preparer and you can file taxes as far back as you want. Late filing taxes is very okay. So if you think you're going to apply for this program, go see a tax preparer and file taxes from 2013 to today. And boom, you've got your evidence that you've been in the United States for 10 years. You can also collect copies of your gas bill, electric bill, internet, PG&E, uh, things like that. Monthly bills, bank statements. Additionally, if you've been posting on social media for the last 10 years, some of those posts can act as evidence that you've been present in the United States. Now, when it comes to crimes, that's a trickier area and that's a time for you to go see an attorney. The only guidance we have as of right now is that you can't have disqualifying crimes. We don't have specifics yet. and Those will be published later. The program will be available, they say, by the end of the summer is when people can start applying. So you can't apply now, you gotta wait. But uh, when it comes to crimes, you can't have disqualifying crimes. That will be something that you'll want to go over an attorney with, but uh, the only guidance we have is you can't have crimes that would disqualify you from adjustment of status, but also agents will be able to use their own discretion, and if they think that your crimes pose a threat to the United States public or to general safety of the country, then you will not be approved. So that's all we have for now. Once we have guidance and the government publishes more specifics, I'll be making another video and I'll let you know. So please remember to like and follow so that you can keep up to date.